Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope everybody is doing well. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what are people thinking about you right now? So this could be anybody. I'm not going to cater it towards any specific person. Um, so feel free to apply to one pile, multiple piles. One thing I am going to say here though, is I'm not going to be, um, mincing words or I'm just going to have to say whatever comes up good bad or ugly so if you are feeling sensitive to please make sure to turn away from this reading there will be a extended um those will be in the description box if interested and always for private readings please visit www.readingswithrally.com that is the only way you can book with me okay um I know that there is starting to become scams but that's the only way you can book with me is there anything else I need to say? I don't think so. So the dogs are both awake. You might hear them or see them running around. Hopefully they're not too distracting. Okay, so we do have three piles to choose from today. Pile one, this is Sushi. Pile two is the Bell. And pile three is the Rose Quartz. So if you do need additional time, please make sure to pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead though and start with pile number one. <clears throat> hello hello pal number one if you chose this uh sushi then this is your reading let me go ahead here and tap into your energy so spirit can you please connect me to the energy of the collective that chose pal number one please come forth with messages of truth clarity and accuracy um for pal one so that they can have the best possible reading as always, we wanted to say thank you for your support, for your kindness, and for your accuracy. Okay, pile one. Um, someone here could be very creative. I heard um, paint, but I also kept seeing the glue stick. So you could also be a teacher. They could be talking about your work, both creative or like if you do work with children. Um, I, I was hearing that, you know, somebody in this pile could be very messy, okay? And I think that there are people who chose this pile who struggled with weight. Or who struggle with weight because i also heard chubby so unfortunately there could also be people talking about your body which is literally the worst like it's not your business okay what do people think here regarding pile ones the tower okay pile ones it's likely you went through something pretty major some of you could have really had some major ending recently and i feel you're probably recovering or recuperating from that if you did have a tower moment in your life recently, I do feel like people are talking about that. Um, in fact, I'm hearing talk of the town, so you could actually have more than one person talking about you. What are they talking, what are they saying about pile one? What, what do they think about pile one right now? What are they thinking about pile one? Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, okay. Some of you are about to change um, a work position or get more money, this could be unexpected. People do think that you're headed into clear water, specifically if you could go through a tower moment. It's like they know that you're going to be out on the other side. Okay. Some of you could be starting a new fitness regime as well. Um, that could be why people are talking about your body, actually, or thinking about your body. But I feel here like there was some sort of major scandal. With that page of wands, I get that a lot of these people who are thinking about you could be younger. If you have children, they're also thinking about your children. I'm hearing scandal, so there could have been some sort of major scandal here. You have the higher font in reverse and the emperor upright, okay. Some of you could have just ended a connection. That could be the tower here, and there is a lot of uh, conversations about that, a lot of conversations about your connection. Why are you with this person? Um, how are you gonna recover from this? What's gonna happen to you next? There's, there's, They're thinking about that. They could also be thinking here that you are probably better off outside of this connection. Like that is, that does seem to be a theme here. And a lot of people are thinking that you're about to boss up. We have Libra with balance in reverse, Mercury with messages in reverse. Okay. Some of you could be um, really out of balance right now, or you could have just gone through something that did put you out of balance in some sort of a capacity here. People are thinking about that. Um, they are thinking about uh, the fact that you do feel a little bit unbalanced. Maybe for some of you as well, you've stopped communicating as much. 
I'm just here. I just heard border. So some of you could be like actually moving uh, to a different state or to a different place or somewhere bordering your city or town. We have Aries with act. They could be thinking, and of course, because people don't know what's going on in your life, especially if there was a tower moment, they could be thinking that what you're doing is impulsive to some capacity as well. Which again, hardly feels fair, but it does feel like they're, they think that what you're doing is impulsive. Some of you could be in Aries, sun, moon, or rising. Taurus, sun, moon, or rising. Libra, sun, moon, or rising. Scorpio, Mars. Yeah, look at this, debilitated with discomfort in reverse. Okay. A lot of people are thinking you're not talking to them right now because you're focusing on yourself. A lot of people think that the next conversation they have with you could be a very uncomfortable one for some reason. Again, it's like, especially if you are moving away from a connection, um, there is a lot of thinking about maybe the fact that you're going to leave these people behind forever. There's concerns about that. What else here? What are people thinking about pile ones? We have rose quartz open up your heart. Okay. There is also that thinking or conception here that uh, your heart chakra is blocked. Okay, for some of you, okay, I have to say this, but for some of you, there is people thinking about the fact that, you know, you're not taking very good care of your body. I just heard smell and I also heard wash. So I feel like um, either they think that you're not bathing enough or that you've just kind of let yourself go. Um, they could be thinking of you and thinking about your closed heart chakra. That's definitely something coming through here as well. Specifically, I kind of feel like you're not really talking to a lot of these people, so they feel uh, like they're allowed to pass judgment on you or something. This is a bit of a tough pile. Azurite, get laser focused. Unikite, live in the now. Okay, there is some, and again, I feel like a lot of these people who are thinking these things don't really know you that well, because first of all, you're not communicating with them. And they don't know what it is that you're going through and what it is that you're shifting in your personal life. So. There's a lot of energy here with like um, them just focusing on what they know about you on the external and thinking about that. But I do feel like there's going to be changes here and people do think that you're focused or you're ready to move something ahead. What do people think about my pile number ones? We have adventuring, we create your own luck. And again, we do have some sort of benefit coming in with that Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel they think you are a very lucky person. A very, <coughs> excuse me, expanded person. A lot of heart stuff though, for sure. So they could definitely be feeling like you're pulling energy away. You don't want to talk to them. I'm hearing salt. Okay, so they could be feeling like you're salty or maybe like uh, you're putting salt in a wound. Some of you could be really needing to connect here to the earth as well. They could just, it's like this sensation of being a bit ungrounded. What are people thinking about my pile ones, please? What do they think about pile ones? Lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. So you're really um, at a place in your life where you're getting ready to move a lot of energy out. And people could be thinking that you're, you're letting them go unnecessarily or too early or something like this. There's definitely sadness with that. But these people do feel very much like you are changing and that is stressful for them in some capacity we have i remember soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life so some of you could be really taking massive steps here to change your future and to change where it is that you're headed next um there's a very strong like warrior spirit present here and i do think that this is something that the people around you they just don't really understand they don't really get why you're like this or how it is that you're shifting Again, like this, these don't feel like people who really care for you or who you talk to a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just feel these people don't really get where you're coming from. We have the void, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic gloom. Again, I'm getting very like low contact with most of these people. You're very focused on your own growth, your own journey. Um, and there is a strong sense of people around you being like, just watching to see what you're going to do next. 
I did just hear magical. So there's definitely a sense here of you. Sorry, excuse my puffy. Mojo, what are you doing, Baba? Sorry. He's just, uh, he's kind of just growling up a storm by himself. Um, but yeah, some you, you could be working with magic here too. And these people could be um, thinking about that. We have deep cellular healing, articus energy, physical and emotional healing. But that's the thing. I don't really think you care about what other people are thinking, honestly. You guys are on some sort of a major journey right now. And I think that that's primarily where your focus is anyways. The starborn. The ocean. So you're just in a state here of processing high level emotions. Okay. Um, some of you could be Aquarius. That's always my Aquarius card. Or you could even have a water in your chart with the ocean, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I am getting a lot of emotional processing. You guys are always different from other people here as well. Um, and that's something that these people do think about. I don't think it's, you don't need to tell anybody really what it is that you're doing. This is your life and your journey. But there's a lot of people right now who do have their eye on you in some strange capacity. And I'm hearing <laughs> spirits calling these people rotten, okay? So I feel like a lot of people that are thinking about you don't necessarily have your best um, interests at heart anyway. So just take this with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, that is what I have pile one. Very interesting. I'm going to have to put a trigger warning, I think, on this video. But I am also going to do an extended. So if this resonated, we can get into more of that um, below. The I mean, the timestamps will be linked below. But yeah, honestly, it's interesting because I do feel, I don't know, it's like these are people who are thinking about you that you don't really talk to or something. Like it just feels like there's kind of a detachment anyways. Do you know what I mean? So in that capacity, I wouldn't be too concerned about these individuals because they really don't seem to know very much about you or don't seem to kind of care to know about you. Do you know what I mean? Like, give me a break. Okay. Have a wonderful day. I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay. Hello, hello, pal too. If you chose this bell, then this is your reading. Let me go ahead here and tap into your energy. Spirit, can you please connect me to the energy of the collective who chose pal number two? Please come forth with the messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pal two so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say thank you to you for your support, for your kindness, and for your accuracy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, pal two, right off the bat, I just heard the word glamorous, okay? So people could be thinking you're very glamorous. Some of you could be getting ready to marry, because I did hear marry, but I also heard hen. I think a hen party in the UK is like a bridesmaid event. So there could definitely be a marriage here. I guess hen could also indicate that some of you could be more interested in a farm life or you could be talking more about sustainable practices or growing your own food here as well. But people do think you're very, um, there's a, a lot of varied interests here. Some of you could also have pets. They could be thinking about your pets or thinking how you can afford your pets, something like this. Spirit, what are people thinking about pile twos, please? What are people thinking about pile twos? We have temperance. Could be Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, okay. What are people thinking, please, about more Pile Twos? What are they thinking? The Hangman, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's interesting here is we have uh, Temperance. So Sagittarius and Pisces are both ruled by Jupiter. Um, so you guys could be incredibly lucky, okay? So that could definitely be something people are talking about, how lucky you are. You could be getting ready here to move into clear waters, or you could be getting ready here to make a major move, national move, um, just a major kind of move that's gonna change your life and change the life of people around you. It definitely feels like you're in a place where you're getting ready to shift. Um, there's also the sense here of you being highly intelligent. So people do think that about you. They think you're very smart. Um, I'm hearing a lot of people have crushes on you. You could be very ambitious as well. I am getting like intelligence, so coming through quite quite a lot actually. So there's a high degree here of intelligence. Um, some of you could be studying like major major studies or major programs here. Somebody definitely has a crush on you. I feel like this person really wants to do anything to make you smile 
or they could be one of those annoying people who tell you you should smile more or try to make jokes so that you can smile. What do people think about pile number twos? Jupiter abundance. What did I freaking say? What did I say, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love when spirit sets that up. Yeah, so some of you could have a major Jupiter planet right now. And again, Jupiter is a very, um, very beneficial planet, personally, I think. So they're definitely talking about your abundance, your, your money, your luck, essentially. Because again, I always associate Jupiter with luck. So people could be really feeling like you are very, very lucky. We have conjunction with alliance. Um, you might be leaving like old friends behind or something to make new connections. Some of these people that could be thinking of you are people that you're leaving behind. I just feel like you are meeting new people who are more on your level in some capacity. This could be in terms of intelligence, such as they're equally as smart as you, or this could just be like you're literally moving and you're making new friends. Moon perception, Mercury messages. Um, this interesting. With this combination, I do feel like sometimes people think you're not fully open or honest with them for some reason. There is a sense of maybe them feeling like you're keeping secrets, keeping things hidden. Again, you guys could be excellent communicators, very perceptive people here too. Um, and I don't think you're scared to communicate with what it is you're thinking. Because we have the Ace of Swords and we have Mercury messages. You can have a very heavy Mercury in your chart or have Gemini or Virgo energy. That is where Mercury is. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, you guys. My puppies are sneaking up on each other. It's really freaking cute. Um, okay, so yeah, it's like very, just high, high degree here of intelligence. But I am feeling for some reason, like these people that are thinking about you, I think you're kind of detached from them in some way. Okay, so they could be like not really that present in your life in some capacity. You have the void stop embrace winter create cosmic womb yeah i feel like you're not really communicating that much with these individuals for some reason tell me more spirit tell me more what are people thinking about how to's thank you we have get grounded empaths highly sensitive connect with nature so some of you here are very much people who do need nature you need to be around nature you need to be able to be near near nature it's very important for you I just saw cherries so somebody here could be eating cherries or could really like cherries someone's name could be cherry um or i'm hearing mon cherry in french so someone here really does think quite highly of you there's definitely crush energy here too someone's thinking about the curve of your body this person does feel like they have sexual interest here um so yeah take that up as it resonates you have deep cellular healing articus energy physical and emotional well-being or healing sorry physical and emotional healing. So again, some of you are just paying attention to yourselves. You're really healing. You're focusing on healing. You're focusing on um, growth and expansion. We the, we the Hathors, deep love, mother's milk, birth is a portal. Some of you here could have recently given birth or um, you're talking about having children or this is becoming something of an interest to you. Some of you could also be having issues here with your, your family or this could literally be your mother thinking about you. For some of you, I'm also hearing that uh, your mother has departed, but she's coming through to say she's supporting you at this time. There's a lot of like uh, feminine energy here that is coming up. So regardless of whatever gender you associate with, I am getting like divine feminine shifting, which is awesome. Tell me more, please. What do people think, please, about pile number uh, two? What do they think? What do they think about pile number two? Karna, ignite your passion. Some of you are really um, destined, especially with that Jupiter energy. Some of you could be really destined to share your um, share your expansion with the world. Like some of you are destined for fame, whether that's for some reason I keep getting art. So like uh, painting, drawing, uh, art, like actresses or actors, or you could be a creator, content creator. But you're really uh, most likely to succeed when you're following your heart and your passion. Unikite, live in the now. So people could think that you're being impulsive um, with what it is that you're doing. Here's the thing too, pile two. Whenever you do something that you love to do and if you're actually succeeding at it, it's for sure that there's gonna be jealousy around that or anger around that as well. You have blue lace agate, find your calm. So 
Because people could be talking about how you're mellowing out or you're, you're shifting, you're changing. And turquoise prioritize your health. It's interesting because you could be very much um, focusing on your healthier body. But as well, um, again, some of you could be like going through the, the journey here of motherhood or pregnancy. Or even fatherhood, you know, whatever it is. Like, I just get a, an increased focus here on the body in a beautiful way. Some of you could literally use your body too. Like, you could be ballerinas or dancers or something like this. You could need to use your body for, like, a for art. Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Jeez Louise. That really jumped out. You have the womb? Okay. What did I say? Some of you guys could be really going through, like, pregnancy here. The orphan. The healer. Oh, my God. Very powerful energy. Wow. People are thinking that you're really going through this incredible shift in your life. Some of you could have really been um, feeling abandoned or left alone. And now it's like you're coming into a different part of your life where you are able to feel more secure, more pleased, more happy with yourself and more happy with where life is taking you. There is a lot of very positive energy surrounding that. Um, and I feel like this is something that spirit's wanting you to work with. Some of you could really be healers, honestly, or you could really be going through some sort of major spiritual awakening as well at this time. Um, and for some of you, like pregnancy, birth, uh, whatever it is, even adopting, that is kind of a rite of passage. Passage. I can't say that word. So that could also be what people are talking about. Boys. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear them rumbling, um, but this is major energy. So people definitely are thinking that you are getting ready to very much up level. And honestly, it feels like it's very, very positive. And it's just something that's meant to happen for you. So yes, pile number two, that is what I have. Wow, remarkably strong energy here. Again, some of these people could be like um, annoying you or maybe not people that you are very close with. Okay, I have to say that because the puppies are fighting with each other. Or not fighting, they're just playing, but still. Before. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, that could definitely be something that's coming up here. Like somebody could feel like they have to pull on your energy. But very strong energy here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pine Freeze. Oh, two. Sorry. Okay. Okay, hello, hello, pal three. If you chose this road sports, this is your reading. Let me go ahead here and tap into your energy. Also, my puppies are uh, playing tug of war, so you might hear little noises, that's them. So spirit, can you please connect me to the collective here that chose pal number three? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pal three so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, I wanted to say thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Boys. Okay. Pile three. So again, excuse the puppies. I can't believe how they're playing like that. Hey, let it go. Lucky. Hi, Debla. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, that didn't work. Sorry. So right off the bat, pile three, I do feel like there are people around you. Okay. First of all, someone here could smoke. Um, this could be cigarettes, cigars, a jewel, I, or specifically like marijuana or drugs. I also always see smoke as a, an illusion. So there could be feeling like there's quite an illusion around you. Or like you're not able to really see the truth of a situation. I am hearing broken. So there could also be people thinking that you are broken or you are needing to fix something. Some of you have been really focusing a lot on yourselves and nourishing your own bodies. I'm getting a kind of detached energy here. So some of you could be really pulling away and doing different things with your life. Um, I also just heard rabbits. I know in the tea leaf card, the like little round cards I sometimes use, these guys. The rabbit card does talk about um, too much interest in sex. So that could also be something people are talking about. Pile three, the hanged man. You could be Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. What's going on, please, with pile threes? What are people thinking about them? Nine of Wands. The Knight of Cups. Okay, one more. What are people thinking about pile threes? I'll take both. Oh, there's three, actually. I'll take all of them. 
Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands. Okay. Uh, pile number three. People are thinking here that you're very tired, okay? It's like you are so busy with work or with trying to figure out your life that there's a major sense of exhaustion surrounding you. I feel many of you are getting ready to make some major moves, but you could be feeling stuck or tied to the specific work or whatever it is that you're doing right now. Although your spirit team is very supportive of you changing, changing it up, flipping it up, moving into a different state altogether. There's definitely energy here with feeling a little bit stuck. Some of you could be really resisting up leveling here in terms of your uh, creativity as well. I just kind of feel like this has been a very busy time for you, this pile. Um, and because of that, you are just focusing on the grind, but people think that you're neglecting some of your true, um, your true powers here, essentially. You could be having economic concerns. I feel like people think you're very cooperative, but they also have the sense that you're sort of lonely here as well. Someone's name here could start with an N, Nancy, Nia, Nathan. Um, but there's definitely a very busy energy. And I think people do think that about you. Spirit, what's going on here? What are people thinking about pile number threes, please? What do people think about pile threes, please? What are people thinking right now? What are people thinking? Third house communication. Okay. So you guys could either be communicating too little or too much. I do feel here like um, there's a hurried nature around you right now. Like it's almost like you don't have time to talk to people or you don't want to. Like there's some sort of like very quick energy that does that is surrounding you here. Chiron heal. Yeah, people do think that you, you are resisting some sort of healing here, that it's time for you to pay more attention here to your healing. Someone here could be going through their Saturn return. Again, we have third house communication. Third house is ruled by Gemini. G Gemini? Gemini. So someone here could be a Gemini sun, moon, or rising. You could even have a Chiron in Gemini or a, a Chiron in your third house, which indicates that communicating properly would be a problem for you. So people are thinking about that. Like that's something you do need to heal. Thank you. To send an invitation. Thank you. Square with tension. <coughs> okay. There has definitely been some tension around you or around your life recently. I do feel many of you are not really in a state where you're wanting to communicate or talk to people around you. Like you do feel like your focus is elsewhere. I also heavily get a feeling here that you're just kind of ready to come out of this area or this time of your life where you do feel heavy or confused, but there's an energy here of needing to see where you are and to work things through properly. I think that you guys could be really focused on doing things right, quote, end quote, um, and people could be thinking about that. What are people thinking? Please about pile threes. <coughs> Excuse me. We have Imara, where are you being called to journey to? <coughs> There's definitely like some major resistance here to stepping into your true power. Pile three, I do feel like there's something here that people think you're, it's like you're giving up some sort of a dream or you're not really nurturing yourself in the proper way. People do think that about you. They could also think that you're here to stay, not for a long time, just for a short time. We have all paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. I kind of get the energy that the people around you, they don't really know how to figure you out. There is something unique about you or different about you and about the energy that you bring to the table. Because of that, I feel a lot of these individuals around you, they have a hard time figuring out what you're thinking, what you want, uh, what needs to happen here. Like there's just a lot of confusion surrounding you. I feel people think that you're hiding a lot of talents or you're not sharing or expressing. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. You guys are actually incredibly, um, incredibly expansive. And I do think people around you sometimes think that you play too small. 
you have star family, you're part of a team of souls calling support. Um, some of you are really getting ready to shift even the people around you because you do really need to be in contact with your soul family. I do feel for you guys, you have a very large purpose where there's a lot that you're meant to do here and spirit's really going to be setting you up to actually tap into that more because it's something that's incredibly important around you. What else here, please? What do people think about pile threes? Um, it's what's interesting here too is I just heard like your star your star family is thinking a lot about you right now as well. You know, pink opal, be kind to yourself. So you definitely do need to be a little bit kinder. It's interesting here too because you chose the rose quartz. They look very similar. Black kyanite set strong boundaries. People could be thinking that you're not really letting them in. And honestly, I was getting that energy as well. I, I just heard kind-hearted, so people do feel like you are quite quite sweet, quite nice. But again, you're not really open to allowing people inside your life. You have hematite with ground yourself. Okay, you guys might really need to work with like darker stones, like a kyanite or a hematite. Um, again, really awesome stones for grounding energy. So that could be a major thing. You could be needing additional help or support to ground. I'm just hearing aspire. So again, there's something here that you guys want to do that you're not leaning into. Turquoise prioritize your health. And again, it's just, it's interesting because I'm kind of getting a bit of a detached energy. Like you're not that focused on the people around you. You are a lot more focused here on yourself. But there's busyness around you too. So people feel like they really don't know who you are, honestly. I do get a very sweet energy though. I think a lot of people around you think that you're sweet if you are, um, but but still detached, right? Like there's a detachment here, definitely around the energy. You have the womb. Some of you could be, um, you know, struggling with your womb space or your sacral chakra, the creativity part. That's definitely something that could be a possibility here. We have the sword, okay? And we have the venom. There's a real lack of clarity in terms of who you are around for the people around you. People do think here that you've been through a lot, but that there's a lot you're not necessarily sharing. You can be difficult to read. You also could be very good at comebacks or you could have a very um, clear sense of like what you're sharing and what you're not. And people could perceive you as being a bit harsh. I do feel here like you are in a state of your life where there's a lot of processing and shifting and changing happening around you. So this is, is something I'm picking up. But people think that there's more to you than meets the surface. I just heard crush. Someone here could definitely have a crush with you and someone does actually like want to procreate or make babies here as well. There's a strong sense here of like, you're meant to be doing something that's very much perceived by the public but you're too busy or there's like too much dealing with the day-to-day -day things so this is definitely a, a group here of like untapped potential honestly it's the strongest feeling i'm getting so yes pile three that is what i have for you um there is going to be an extended so that's in the, the in the description box i hope you can forgive the puppies as well um i hope you have a great day we'll talk later Bye bye